In regards to dampening, you will notice that I do not dampen every single rest in this AP. It is physically possible to do this, but I feel like it takes away from the flow of the work and becomes too cumbersome. For this piece and every other timpani solo, band part, or percussion ensemble work you play, I suggest dampening in parts to bring out the phrases and to add clarity to the rhythms and important lines. Additionally, if you are playing with a band, you would want to listen to the articulation of the rest of the ensemble to understand when you should or should not dampen the drums. Depending on what the music also says, there could be times where a rest is written in your part, but the rest of the band is holding this big note. You would want to make certain adjustments with that. Specifically for this piece, I work to bring out the big phrases, the syncopations in measures 2, 3, 25, and 26, and to make the timing clear in measures 10, 11, 19, 20, and 33. Another level of dampening occurs when I dampen out the notes within the melodic line to allow the melody to come out clear. For instance, in measure one, I dampen the notes out so each beat is heard clearly and individually without the ringing of the other drums. Let me demonstrate this for you. So you notice when I play the D after the G, I dampen out the G when I play that D. And then when I come down to the B, I dampen the D on the same beat. And then I'm ready to dampen on beat one of measure two to set me up for the triplets. I also do this in measure 15 to make the last statement of the A section to have more closure and in measure 33 to have a clear transition into the metric modulation. Technically, work to have your hand dampen the drum in the playing area and to not make any noise. You don't want to hear the hand hit the drum when you dampen. I use the padding of the back three fingers and sometimes my thumb to cancel out the sound. I do this or sometimes I do this. Two things to be aware of when dampening. One, make sure you dampen out a when you dampen out a drum, that you bring the stick back to the correct playing position. Don't let the mallet head remain out too close to the center of the drum. Secondly, make sure you don't slam the mallet into the head right before you have to dampen out a drum. You always want to make sure you strive for a full, rich sound on every stroke no matter if you're going to let it ring or you're going to stop the sound. 